Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to stream your PlayStation 4 gameplay to your PC with zero capture card. And we're going to be using an application called Remote Play to accomplish this. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. If this is your first time watching Your6 Studios video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I love making PlayStation tech videos and live streaming on this channel. Now, this is going to seem a little bit confusing at first, but I'm just going to tell you some of the stuff you will need. You will need an extra PlayStation 4 controller, so you're going to connect this to your computer at one point in time, and then you're going to need a USB to micro USB cable to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your PC for remote play later on. Now, the problem I had using this method early on is when I would play remote play on my PC, there would be way too much latency and I couldn't play games like Call of Duty or Fortnite. And the way I got around of that was I would play on my PlayStation 4 still and not on my PC. And to do this, we're going to need to make a second account. So go ahead and hold down your PlayStation 4. Uh, home button and go to power and go to switch user and under here you'll be able to create a new user and as you can see i have two different accounts on here that i'll be using timbo slice and timbo slice 2. now the one with playstation plus is my main account so i'm going to be logging into my playstation 4 with this account and then i'm going to be streaming to my pc with my second account timbo slice number two so this one's for my pc and this one's for my ps4 this will all make sense in a few minutes here. So we got two accounts made. And remember the password and email address for your second account because we're going to need that in a few seconds here. So let's jump over to my computer now. So I have my web browser up and I'm just going to go to google.com and type in PS4 Remote Play. And I'll give you the quick link down below in the description that you can go in and click on. But if you type in PS4 Remote Play, it should be this first link right here. And you do have the option to play this on PC or Mac. So let's go ahead and click on the PC option and download that. And it's only 19 megabytes, so it should go quick. And here is the application for PS4 Remote Play. Let's go ahead and select it right now. And it's going to check for the latest updates. And here is where we will need our controller connected to the PC. It will not work without your controller connected to the PC. You can also use the PC wireless adapter for your DualShock 4 controller. Now let's go ahead and go over to settings since we have this hooked up and we will need to sign into our account here. So we have the sign in option right here. Let's go ahead and sign in. And with this sign in option, you will want to sign into that second account that you made on your PlayStation 4. And for me, that's action six, AKA Timbo Slice number two. And under resolution, we have a couple options. Uh, we do have options for uh, 1080p. However, that's only for PlayStation 4 Pro users. So if you do not have a PlayStation 4 Pro, you cannot use the 1080p option. And I'm going to use the high 720p option. And then the second option down here is frame rate. Now the high frame rates will be 60 frames per second. The standard will be 30 frames per second. And if you do not have a good internet connection, this will impact your gameplay and your latency. And it may look bad when you're streaming to your computer and when you're streaming to Twitch or YouTube. So make sure you have a good internet connection if you do not go to standard or even lower your resolution to maybe like standard or low. And then you do have the option for text entry using a keyboard when you're on your computer. So you can check that. And then if you ever want to change PlayStation 4 you had connected, you do have the option right here. And this right here is just an information tab, uh, user agreements. You can just go through there. And then once you have everything set up the way you want, go ahead and press OK. Now, you can either go to the Start button right here, or you can press the PlayStation Home button on your PS4 controller, and it will start pairing with your PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and connect my PS4 controller to my PC right now. And it's connected. I'm going to go ahead and press the Option button right now on my PS4 controller. And it's going to start looking for my PlayStation. And if it's connected to the same Wi-Fi, it will find my PlayStation 4. If it's not, it might get an error like this. And if you are getting errors, just make sure the account on your PlayStation 4 that you want to stream to is logged out of your PlayStation 4. And it's going to be searching for my PlayStation 4. And it has connected to my PlayStation 4. 
automatically and it may look a little bit blurry at first however it should catch up and it'll start kicking in with full color here shortly once i start moving around and stuff now if it doesn't find your playstation 4 just over the wi-fi internet connection you do have the option to register your playstation manually let's go ahead and go through that option right now so let's go ahead and hit register manually and then your playstation 4 is going to display a registration code and you will need to type it in here however you have to go to settings remote play connections and add device let's jump over my playstation i'll just show you that method right now now if you're going to be registering manually you will need to go on your second account so let's go ahead and switch users and go to my second account here and i'm just going to move this out of the way and go to my uh, temple slice number two account if you go out to your main account it will not connect so you will need to go up to the top bar go over to settings and then you will need to go down to remote play and it should be right here remote play connections select that and then go down to add device right here and select that and here is the code so I'm just gonna type it into this window right here three two two nine four six seven six and then register All right, now it's connecting, and there I have two different windows here. The back one is my capture card, and this top one is my remote play connection. So let's go ahead and get rid of my capture card since we're connected via remote play. And you do have a couple options down here. You have the share button, you have your battery life, and your controller info information right here. You hit your PlayStation home button options at any point in time, and then you have the ability to go full screen here if you want to go full screen and down here you have the option to mute your mic or unmute your mic and this will be the microphone on your pc so this microphone i'm using right here it will display in here and if you want to run a two microphone setup you can by hooking up another microphone to your computer and you'll have to mess around with the audio options to have one microphone in obs and then just one microphone over here on remote play but we won't need to use that because we're going to be talking to our party chat on the PlayStation 4. And that's another good point. Now, to avoid any kind of latency issues, I'm going to be playing directly on my PlayStation 4. I have my PlayStation 4 controller right here that I mainly use. This is the Razer Raiju. I love this controller. So let's switch over to my main account now and go to Temple Slice number one. And as you can see, I can log into my main account and then I can go to party chat and any party chat members who join, their voice will be shared with the remote play application. So when you plug in your headset here, your sound will still pick up on the computer. And for many capture cards, this is just not the case. You have to set it to output device to TV or amplifier and your headset won't pick up any audio then you'll have to actually plug it into your capture card device or plug it manually into your monitor so this is a great way to get around the issues with capturing your party chat audio and still using a usb microphone the other option you do have is to plug this directly into your computer and getting the audio through your computer and the remote play application and you'll still be able to use this microphone too. Now let's go ahead and open up OBS Studios on my PC. Okay, so I have OBS open. Let's go ahead and go down to this plus icon down here and just create a new scene. And let's just name this PS4 Gameplay. And press OK. So I have a new scene down here. And let's go over to Sources and go to the plus icon and go down to window capture right here let's go ahead and select that and let's type in remote play and just name it that so we know what it is and press ok and then we're going to have a couple of different options right here uh, the first one popping up is streamlabs obs but we should be able to get uh, remote play in here let's go ahead and go to this and what one is it it should be the last one right here there we go remote play dot exe ps4 remote play so that's the one right here. And let's go ahead and press OK. And then from here, you can right click on the background and then go to transform and then go to fit to screen. Now we have to make our application uh, full screen 
Otherwise, it won't take up entire screen on OBS. So let's go ahead and do that now. Make it full screen. And let's go back to OBS. And as you can see in this application, it is now full screen. It's pretty easy to add it in here. And then we're going to want to add our microphone in here too. So let's go to Add under Sources. And then go to Audio Input Capture. And then if this is your first time doing this, go ahead and press OK. And then you should have a couple different options on here uh, if you have your microphone uh, hooked in. And I mine is actually the Yeti microphone, so I'm going to go to that and press OK. And as you can see, the bottom bar here is going up and down. Let's go ahead and adjust our microphone so it's not in the yellow and it's all green. And the slider in here will do that. As you can see, it's going all the way down and all the way up. So try to keep it just under that yellow part and into the green section. So we have our gameplay and then we have our microphone added. If you want a webcam, you'll have to go to add once again and then go to video capture devices. And I won't be able to add my webcam whatsoever because I'm using it on Streamlabs OBS I'm streaming on currently right now. And then here's my Logitech camera and you'll be able to switch your camera if you want a couple different ones. And then go ahead and press OK. It won't pick it up because I'm using it on a different program right now. So there we have our gameplay, our audio, and our camera should be in here at some point in time once I close down my other program. And if you're looking for more custom themes and overlays on your screen, try out Streamlabs OBS. It's pretty much the same thing, but you get extra little features here and there. And if you just want to capture your background, uh, for instance, you can go to add and then go to display capture right here. And then you can type in whatever display you want. I have two displays. So I usually go display one or two and then press OK. And here is my first display. And this one will be my second display. Hi there. So that's pretty easy to have. And you can rearrange these by just selecting them and putting down the list or up on the list. And it's pretty easy to delete, to delete them. Just go to the remove after you highlight them and it'll get rid of that. And then on the right side here, you can just start streaming. You will have to enter a stream key from either YouTube or Twitch before you start streaming. You can start recording right here, your studio mode and settings and exit. And under settings, you'll need to go to stream before you start streaming. And you'll need to type in your stream code right here from either YouTube or if you're going to be streaming on Twitch. So make sure you do that first. And there's some other options you might want to do too, like changing your bitrate. Um, the bitrate for YouTube goes up to 7,500. For Twitch, it's about 5,000. And make sure you have your recording path memorized right here so you know where your videos are going when you save them. And your base canvas size and output resolution. Uh, depending on your monitor, you might want that at a higher resolution than I have right now. I have it only at 1080 and then I output my resolution when I stream. I only stream at 720p because my internet is good, but it's not that great. So guys, that's how you stream from your PlayStation 4 to your PC using OBS or if you want to use Streamlabs OBS with no capture card needed. Using the Remote Play application, it's super easy to do this and it works great. This is Tim from Your Six Studios. If you like this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and check out some of the other amazing videos coming out on Your Six Studios coming up next.